be making basics. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another little video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn any sample or any melody into an old school sample. Okay. In Logic Pro. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Basically, I found this sample um, in Splice and this is what it sounds like. Now, it sounds great. It's a little bit too distorted for me, but we're going to still work with it. One of the problems, excuse me, one of the problems that I ran into here is like when I drug and drop, I mean, excuse me, when I dragged it into Logic Pro's um, quick sampler, um, it wasn't syncing up. So like say if I wanted to speed it up, it's not going to match up. So you'll just hear it when it comes over here, like everything is locked in place like it should be. But when we put it in a loop, it's not matching up. So that was a problem here to fix that, which you could do here is I just hit these tracks here is basically you will come over here, right click, bounce in place, normalize off, you know what I mean? Make sure that's on there and it's going to turn it into an audio file. And we have that right there. next step would be to now come over here and make sure your flex is uh your your flex tools is is highlighted and you can turn this guy over here enable flex and once you do that it should lock it in place and you may have to still come around here and because i already did it down here that's why i locked the place real quick but you have to come in here and just like go up a little bit on each point where the high transients are, the high peak transients are, and move this around some to make it fit within the measure like it should, which I did took the time to do. Um, it took a little bit more time than probably what I wanted it to, but it's it's all relative. But anyway, now this is what you get. cool so that's the really the first thing is make sure that whatever you know sample or melody that you, that you want to turn into an old school sample um whichever one you're using just make sure it actually is lined up properly in time with everything so and that's a step that most people probably won't tell you before they get to the goodies but that is like the main thing because if the sample's off it's not gonna make any sense so anyway after i did this i just took this and dragged and dropped it right over here like so put it into the quick sampler. And once that happens, the sample will now be in the quick sampler. And this is where we can play around with like pitching it up or down. So we'll do it like that and let's lay this down real quick. Make sure it's lined up, quantize it like so. If you really want to, you can pull the velocity up. All right, bet. So now that we have our sample in here, it's lined up and everything, the next thing I would recommend y'all doing is using this secret plugin that's not so secret that you can get off of Waves uh, website. I'll leave the link in the description. But this joint is called J37. Now, a lot of y'all have heard it or heard of it. Um, maybe some of the beginners and most of the people who, you know, might frequent the channel might not have heard it. But this is a dope uh, plugin that kind of can emulate uh, like tape saturation. And as you know, like old school samples, that's a lot what's on there because of the technology at that time was more older. But this is going to, you know, make it kind of seem like it. It's like an old school sample. I would recommend coming right in here to the presets. I mean, there's probably about a good, yeah, almost a hundred presets. Um, I kind of started going through some of these, like this candle holder joint is pretty fire. Let's check this out. I 
has a little bit of a ring to it that I don't like, but it's pretty hard. I'm gonna push this down an octave. Let's see how it sounds like that. Just, I just don't like that uh, ring. Well, this is a pretty hard plug-in to me, you know what I mean? You just got to play around with the uh, presets. You know, obviously, you come in here and, and do your own doctoring up and you know, move around all this stuff. I mean, but hey, I just wanted to highlight that, let you know that there's a plug-in that you could use to throw in there, kind of give you some old-school vibes. Also, throwing this tip in about using the Flex tool on your samples before you throw it into the uh, Quick Sampler, that's going to be big. Um, cause a lot of times, you know, you were going to run into that in logic pro most of the time it catches it, but sometimes it won't. So always like maybe bring your sample in here first into the, uh, uh, project window first and then, you know, doctor it up, then throw it into the sampler. Just a good little tip. Um, anyway, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Make sure you head over to my website, beatmakingbasics.com. Right now we do got the beat making master bundle on sale, limited time offer, um, so check that out, send the link in the description, um, and make sure that you check out also the channel perks. Okay. Channel perks. I'll leave that in the description as well for only $3 a month. I'll do extra videos that you won't be able to get if you're just a normal subscriber. So, you know, there's diff different ways for you to get involved and check out, you know, of course, the m number one way is the free way to just go ahead and get subscribed to the channel, showing love, hitting the like, uh, like button leaving comments and stuff. But if you want more channel perks, if you want a whole lot more, go to the website, bemakingbasics.com. Other than that, man, appreciate y'all, and I will see you in the next video.